All right, guys. So one through um, one through four have already well one through three have already been done for you in the first video. I'm just coming back now to do four through six. Uh, let me go through this. Okay, so here it says describe the similarity transformation. Well, if I go from the big one to the small one, then I know this is the prime. So this is the um, image. First, to get this lined up on the same line, I need to move one, two, three, four. So we need to take X. Oh, hold on. I want to go from the pre-image to the image. So to get M lined up with M, I want to go one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take X, move it over to the to the right four and I'm going to go down one two three and then y minus three then if I do that it's not lined completely up it's still enlarged so I need to shrink it since I know that um, my scale factor is going to be less than one then I'm going to count the sides and I'm one two three so since I know this is shrinking I'm going to say three over then I'm going to count this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 over 6 is the same as 1 half. So first we're going to say that xy is going to do this. And then xy, after I finish this, I'm going to do this next. So I'm going to tell it to take xy. And we're going to multiply each value by 1 half. And we're done with that one. The next one, it looks like we have some kind of reflection and a translation, and then we have a shrinkage on this. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and do the translation. I'm gonna move up one, so the X first. The um, Y is gonna go up one, and then it looks like we need to go up one And we're gonna have some type of reflection. So if I move C prime here, I'm gonna do some type of reflection. I have one, two, three, one, two, three spaces. So to make this simpler, I'm gonna go ahead and say that my Y is gonna go up one, but my X is gonna go over to the left one so that my line of um, reflection will be on an axis. So here, x minus 1, y plus 1. So that will put my c prime so that will put my um, c right here and to get it on top of it then I would reflect over the y axis so that would take this point and it will be two from the line of reflection and then two on the other side. But the picture still wouldn't be directly where I need it to be. We would be right here with this black one. So I need to blow this up. So I'm going to go say after I reflect over the X axis, then I need to take that X and Y. And then I need to go one, two, three, four one two since i'm going from small to big then i would say the k would be equal to four over two which makes k equal to two so then i would say blow each one of those up by two and we're finished this one looks like we have a 90 degree rotation um counterclockwise so i would say 90 degree rotation clockwise um, counterclockwise about the point zero zero because if I take T and I move it over here that will put T at one two three four that will put T right here and then I need to shrink it down to get it to this T so that means I went from big to small so I go one two three and then on um, one so my next would be to take that and the length on this side is one, since I know it needs to be a small picture, then I am going to put the smaller number on top of one, two, three, 
And so I will get this, take one third of the values for both. And we did it. All right, uh, see you guys on tomorrow. Bye.